Hi, welcome to this what is new video. We go to Ctrl Alt G, which is Chromium for us. And if you want information, you go to the arclinks.info, standing for information. And in due time, we'll change this to February 2023 release and we'll release, look at the date up here. In a few days, we'll release Arclinks Core, meaning XL, L the XS and the D plus the Hyperland and the Sway plus Plasma. So those are the guys that we're going to release in February. Now, the article, and so this will change, right, in a few days or weeks. And the article, what is new, is already posted in here, hidden in the menu. We've just started with um, Hyperland and Sway. And of course, we've done some more work on it. But first of all, we've discovered why we could not log in with ZSH. So ZSH, if you change it, so super control, well, control T or super enter, right? Keyboards, know your key bindings. You can say to ZSH, that's an alias. And you can say to bash, and you can say to fish. There are three main, um, well, shells. So the problem was if you went to ZSH and you log out, log in, then you're on ZSH, you could not log in into these guys. And they all had the same similar kind of thing. It's the way how we start the applications. And when solving that, well, everything just fell into place, right? It's like, like always a conundrum in the beginning and then later on, it's knowledge. And then you just know what to do. So from now on, we can log into these three guys with ZSH. That's an important thing. That's the thing in the past. Full installation and configuration of Arclinx B Hyperland in 4K. So I've bought myself a new smartphone. It had the option 4K because we can't really record uh, the installation process. It can't be used in VirtualBox, VMware, QMU and so on, maybe in the future, but for now, right? We say don't install a Hyperland in virtual machines and use the Arclinx B Hyperland, the Arclinx B sway because those are, well, built to be exactly the way it should be with all the configurations and all the proper applications, etc. So we've recorded everything in 4K. What is important here to note as well, that there is a playlist. We use tons and tons of playlists. Arcanlex YouTube channel there and have a look. There are playlists about any topic, Linux kernels, Alacrity, um, in this case, Hyperland and so on. So check it out and don't forget to click here. There are three videos just combined together, just about the installation in 4K, right? But there is more, of course. There are lots of uh, playlists. For instance, another playlist is, look, this is what we did to make Hyperland work with NVIDIA drivers. We've been saying in all the videos, don't do it, right? There was a link on the wiki from Hyperland and they say it might work, it will probably work and maybe it's gonna work and stuff like that. So very cautious, may try this and you may try that. I think there are already three people on Discord who have tried it and came back with, okay, it works for me. Doesn't mean it will work for you, right? It's still no guarantee at all. So here you see the URL wikihyperland.org NVIDIA. And we've done this explained in the video. I've built some packages afterwards, so we don't need to change a lot anymore. We just need to add lines to the make init cpio.conf but video, right? So yes, you can give it a go, but hey, um, if it doesn't work, visit it again six months from now. Hyperland tutorials, there have been many, many videos, like 31, 30 videos about Hyperland, things about cursors, anything you keep track of things, keyboard bindings, waybar, lots of stuff. So have a look at all these tutorials. And maybe if you if you see these things, then you say, okay, let's bookmark this, right? Let's put it somewhere safe and later on, I'll, when I have time, I'll check it out. But these articles, of course, stay online. 
Sway tutorials have been built as well, a little bit less, 10. So yeah, I'm kind of inclined to stay more on Hyperland than I am on Sway. That's for sure, because of probably the graphical effects that I am still not bored, I still like it. So cool, <laughs> you choose. Since I had these beautiful graphical things on Sway and on um, Hyperland, I, I found it not to be present on Xmonad and BSPWM and i3 and so on, and some others. And I said, okay, let's add the Super D. This is Super D on CHDWM. So that's it's there as well. So I kind of missed it when I was on other uh, distros. So I added the code and I explained it. This is i3, I think. No, this is i3. And here is a video of Xmonad and Xmonad with Polybar as of this one up here. And this is the one with the Xmobar. You see a little bit here behind that that's a Polybar and that's an XMO bar. We keep on working on the ATT. So you can now start with Archman, which is a Turkish uh, well, basis, let's say. They have the basis in Turkey. And then we can, of course, use it because it's based on Arch. So why not? And the other thing that's still in the pipeline is Artix. That's another one that's based on Arch. And we can add those to our list. So we can actually install chddwm, bspwm, xmonad on these guys, right? Doesn't really matter as long as it's Arch, but not Manjaro, not KOS. Um, there are always some, well, Manjaro is possible, but partially. Uh, there are always exceptions, right? And then they can all be installed. The support list is actually, you can see it if you run it. So ATT, if you type it in a terminal, you see a list of all the things that are supported. And we say any Wayland desktop is not supported. It says here, any Wayland Hyperland Sway is not supported. But yeah, there are always exceptions, right? <laughs> New aliases, SPQO, figure out a file that's somewhere on your computer and you wonder which package installed it there. Give me a lot of information about a package. And depends is, tell me I have package X and who needs this package? What other packages depend on it? If I remove it, which is, and so up rather than down, knowing, okay, this, the other, these other packages depend on my package that I want to remove. So that depends. You've made indeed a video about um, uh, how to push things to GitHub. So GitHub used to say, okay, just git push and then password done. That's finished. So we couldn't do that for a while actually. And we had to use, or we have to use SSH keys and that's explained in this video. Actually quite a few people have already seen this. I was kind of surprised. So let me quickly see and check how many people have seen this video. Where do I see this? Here, 1,500 views. I thought, what? So I suppose it's, um, well, a good thing that I've made it. How to install Arclinux B Plasma, tips and tricks. So I've made a video, but the video is actually more than just a video. It's actually lots of tips and essential information. And it's not just for Plasma, of course, it's just how to install things and some tips about mixing desktops. We always say, don't mix Hyperland and Sway with something else, right? Keep it separate because yeah, it really doesn't mix a Wayland desktop and an Xorg desktop because of all the variables you're gonna use. And it needs not only use, but it needs it, these Wayland things. So all kind of information that might be relevant for your next installation. Qtile has been, um, has a new theme, thanks to Ronit Gandhi, who was getting the code from DistroTube and made it, we call it Arcofied, so made it for Arconix so that all the key bindings work. So thanks to the work of both authors, we now have a new theme. 
So I can have a look, a uh, quick video maybe. Quick check out, how does it look? I think it's up here already. This is the one you have to look These at. These colorful the things. Here. All right. Stars here, stars there. Oh, back. Articling's Nemesis script. Yeah, true. We got, we made a, a real um, major update for it. If you still don't know what it is, it's super. It's a script that's there that you can copy paste, that you can change after every clean installation of any Arch Linux based ISTRO, of course. You run this thing, you make it your own and um, decide what to remove from all the, the, after a clean installation, what to get rid of software you don't like and get the software in that you do like because it's all free, it's all Linux, it's freedom, it's choice. And this is easy because you run a script, one script, and you go eat and you come back and everything is installed. That's how life should be, right? Arch ISO new update, yeah. So the extra line we get here is run mem test. So if you think your RAM, so random access memory, your memory um, is broken or something, you can do a test and it takes quite a while, but then you know, okay, I should buy new stuff, new hardware. What's new? That's this video that I'm making right now. I'm gonna copy paste it in here and how to stay rolling, how to update from version X to version Y is here which is not correct which is not correct which is strange so i'll check it out because it should say from one to two right so bad copy paste there i guess and that's it for me that's what's new but basically we've been very busy with the wayland distributions as well with wayland plasma you'll find a video there as well you'll have the choice if you install the arclinx b plasma to log in to either X11 or Wayland in the ISO. We're gonna release the February, beginning of February. But that's a smaller change. All right. Enjoy Arco Linux, enjoy the learning, stick with it, learn. When you've got time, watch videos, and in no time you'll be a pro. Cheers.